My mission is to convince you that you can cook food better than anything you can buy outside the home. And when you watch me, be prepared because I am a close friend of the culinary axis of evil, fat, carbs, and salt. It's not that I use it in abundance or overuse it, but I don't pull any punches. If it makes my dish taste good and I think it's appropriate, I'm going to use it. Now, let's get started with today's dish. I'm gonna make a caprese salad, or my version of it, using beets, pesto, and fresh buffalo mozzarella. My caprese salad is gonna be made like a Napoleon, and all that means is a layered dish. I'm gonna put a piece of beet on a plate, then put the fresh mozzarella on top of that, and then the nice bright green pesto. The pesto really is all the work of this dish. Pesto is made from fresh basil, pine nuts, grated cheese, black pepper to taste, some salt, and of course olive oil and garlic, which I've already loaded into my garlic press. All you do is put in all your basil leaves. I'm gonna add the pine nuts. It's about a couple tablespoons, but of course it's arbitrary. You can put in more or less as you see fit. My black pepper already ground, and as I process it, I'm gonna drizzle olive oil in it. Then we stop this, take the lid off, scrape down the sides, and now we're gonna add the cheese. I add the grated cheese at the very end and just pulse it a few times because I want the cheese to maintain its distinctive texture. Give it a couple of quick pulses until it's mixed in. And that's it. Now, can you guess which ingredient I forgot? <laughs> that's right, the garlic. Pretty important ingredient. But you know what? I just pushed it through the press right into the bowl and stirred it around. And you know what? You're gonna make a lot of mistakes like that, just like I do. I, on this plate, as you can see, the, the white mozzarella would get lost in this light colored plate. So I'm gonna put beets down first, just two of them. Gently transfer this fresh mozzarella, which is very, very delicate, as you can see. And I'm gonna put it on it kind of crossways. And then I'm gonna put a nice big dollop of pesto on this and of course we have to garnish it with fresh basil. Now as I always do I have to taste my creation and make sure it measures up. The substitute for tomatoes works even better than I thought it would. It does have just a touch of sweetness and complements the saltiness of the pesto, and in between the two is that nice buttery texture of the fresh buffalo mozzarella. See you next time.